Hey guys, it's me, Aaron Animations here. Today, this is a little speaker update. Today, we're gonna be unboxing the. Well, it's already unboxed, but the Tube Emerola, aka the BT226K. Now, this is a speaker you probably never saw before. So, if you're wondering, Marshall, Marshall, why did you get this speaker? Well, it kind of looks like the Kobe speaker that I have. Well, the Kobe Flash Beat. But it's kind of much different. -er. It doesn't, but it doesn't look like that same. Hold on, let me go compare it to that speaker. I'll be right back. See how this one? Yeah, see how this one has this? Uh, you see this one? See how it has literally the, uh... That's, a uh, light in the front. Well, this light is much different than other speakers. Use, let's use your magnifying glass for this video. So, if we turn it on here... We see that the speaker starts with, with like this, but I'm going to have to turn into the radio mode. Now we're going to unbox the main speaker, which is already unboxed. Alright. Here's the speaker, the charger, and the manual. We're probably going to have to connect to the speaker in a minute. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Power on. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Hello, that's loud. This one also has a auxiliary mode, which is listed in the speaker. I, at least I do. Whoops. At least uh, I do have a USB to aux. Mini USB to aux. No, no, no. Oh my god. It's so falling down. But a USB to aux, which is somewhere. I'm going to need to find the USB to aux cable because uh, the cable is probably lost somewhere where we're going to find it now. It has radio mode in the auxiliary mode. I bet probably the uh, connect, this connect to the the Bluetooth device where the pair, right? Because I know that. Because this speaker also powers off itself right after a few, a few minutes. This is the radio mode. Radio mode. Then, auxiliary input mode. Yep, there's an auxiliary mode here too. Which, like, let, let's do the uh, on bear speaker for example. This has an aux cable. It's a handy dandy little pine glass here. To see this little little millimeter thing, that's an aux cable. So, whichever this does not have an auxiliary cable. Who's despite being the fact this has different light modes. Which it says it has color, color change light effects. And it says an FM radio, dynamic sound, long lasting battery, and color change effects. Like I said, this is a Rolla. I'll be right back and get my other two booms. So, to anybody who knows, this is one of the lighting uh, two beam speakers I have. And they all have the same power on noises. Except that this one here, the ring light, powers on slowly. All the rest. The Aura, the Glow, and the ro Rolla, aka DB226, powers on slowly, powers on fast. Let's do the ring light. Power, power on. The, the Bluetooth, Bluetooth device is ready to pair. pair. The Bluetooth device is connected power successfully. On. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Power on. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. These are the only ones with lights. The Aurora is the only one with the power on and off buttons. The Bluetooth but device is connected successfully. This one's connected to my phone. But, whatever does that. So, all, all these three have lights on them. Which, that's kind of pretty cool. I'm going to set this as my video thumbnail. And we're going to turn all these off. Other three, which I'm going to uh, 
So these are all, I also have the Aqua Jam, which does not light up. Now we're gonna go set it up. Now we're gonna go completely set it up. As by far setting up the speaker, we're going to go ahead and, and no, yes, don't mind that. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to YouTube. Then we can see, they can see here that the BT-170 and the BX-160 is connected to my phone. Power on. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. So we all know this was the BT-226 while the other... Basement. Scan. So we got it connected. Now we need to connect to the speaker, which we're going to do right now. It will be uh, connecting... <laughs> we have to bring request, so we're going to do that. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Get, get ready to, the, to hear the disconnecting noise. Same connecting, same disconnecting noise. I don't know that, but turn off the speaker. Has a mm noise. Sounds like the same connecting noise as my uh Victrola Gatsby 2 Bluetooth record player, which doesn't work anymore. But so so we need to do something for a minute. So we'll be back to that. There's this little thing here that just looks like a seal on it, but that's just the sound of the speaker. So, uh, that's currently on it looks like. So, uh, that's all for the review of the YouTube and Rula, and I'll see you later, and peace out.